And right now we want to break away and go to an AB News special report about the astronauts return home. Now reporting, David Muir. Good evening, everyone. We're coming on a little earlier than normal tonight for a moment nine months in the making. Look at the live pictures at this hour. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams are making their long-awaited return to Earth from the International Space Station. Of course, this would end a remarkable space odyssey. Their SpaceX capsule uh, just becoming visible. You see it there in the live picture. They are speeding through the Earth's atmosphere, heading for a splashdown uh, just minutes from now, about 5.57 Eastern time, obviously about six minutes or so from now just off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. The parachutes we are about to see uh, deploying here about four minutes before splashdown. That should happen around 5.53 Eastern time, about two and a half minutes or so from now. We should see that uh, at any moment. You can watch it as it comes through the cloud cover. Of course, as you know, we've been reporting on this story. Astronauts Wilmore and Williams arriving on the Boeing Starliner spacecraft for what was supposed to be an eight-day mission. That was back in June. We reported on the technical issues. The Starliner kept them from returning turning home, NASA sending it back to Earth empty, keeping the astronauts on the space station until a relief crew arrived this past weekend. Now, their SpaceX Dragon capsule docking at the space station, astronauts Wilmore and Williams, along with two other astronauts, then boarding a second SpaceX capsule, uh, undocking from the station, beginning their trip home early today uh, in the early morning hours. Of course, back here on Earth, their families have been waiting months for this moment. Sonny Williams' family telling our team that everyone is looking forward to celebrating their return. Turn. Uh, we do have coverage on the ground. Faith Abube is at Cape Canaveral in Florida. And Faith, as we look at these pictures, hard to imagine both of these families really waiting for their loved ones to finally come home after what turned out to be nearly a year in space. Like we said before, things moving. Yeah, David, and it's not just the families that are excited. It's also the NASA team. Uh, NASA officials we've spoken to over the last several days tell us that in this moment, uh, they're on pins and needles as they are watching the spacecraft come closer and closer to the floor. Florida coast. Uh, they've done this multiple times, but each splashdown is unique. Each one presents its own opportunity, and so they're watching this closely. But no one more excited about this uh, splashdown that they're waiting for here than the family members who have had to sacrifice so much over the last nine months. Remember, as you just mentioned here, Sonny and Butch went for that eight-day mission on that Boeing Starliner on that crewed flight, that first test flight there uh, with the crew. They were supposed to come in just a few days. As Navy captains, retired Navy captains, they are aware that things change. They've done this long enough to know that there are changes that come with this. However, no one would have imagined that this would have taken nine months for them to come back home. The, their families anxiously waiting, uh, listening to them, trying to get word on what will happen. And of course, we're watching all of this happen in real time. Faith Abube, thank you. Of course, we've seen the parachutes deployed there moments ago as Faith was reporting on the families waiting for their return. Look at these remarkable pictures uh, as these two astronauts who were in space uh, for nearly a year, the parachutes now deployed, obviously uh, working for that final descent to slow down the capsule uh, for this splashdown just off the coast of Florida. Let's listen in to NASA for a moment. Let's get a feel for this. And they continue to ensure that the Dragon uh, spacecraft slows down even further. As we mentioned, Freedom will be traveling 16 miles per hour when it splashes down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida, here at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time this afternoon. And there we go. We have visual on four healthy names. There you have it, four parachutes now deployed. We knew there would be a total of four. And as we heard from the NASA scientists there who are narrating this uh, video, 16 miles per hour when that capsule uh, splashes down uh, just off the coast of Florida. We're joined by retired NASA astronaut and ABC News contributor Katie Coleman also watching this. Uh, Katie, you know this all too well. You were on the International Space Station yourself, but it's still incredible to see. Now awaiting visuals of splashdown. It's actually hard to, it was hard to breathe. Copy <laughs> 1000. When you were coming back yourself and, and describe for me what this moment is like for these two astronauts. Uh, we know there are two others accompanying them in their return to space, uh, but what this moment feels like uh, and what it feels like when they actually splash down into the water. Well, I think we, I mean, I hate to say it, but I think we've seen the scariest part, at least it's the part where I wasn't breathing, which is wanting to see those two drogue shoots that start the sequence. 
You're looking at 800 and then a live view of Kruna being all four just minutes away from splashing down off the and do you remember what this moment was like Katie yourself uh, in the return to earth and what this must be like for them four healthy mains really do it's it's a wild ride up until just now and now you're just waiting for the water and knowing that it's probably going to be a pretty good solid minutes away from landing there but you're you've got instruments to tell you when it's coming and again you just want everything to to be working right we're looking at the four astronauts inside the capsule uh, right now, Katie. And can you imagine uh, the two astronauts who went up there for eight days and ended up being up there for nearly a year, what that must have been like? Using their, uh, their I have to tell you that there's a bunch of us that are envious. They were just in space. I had, I had a feeling you would say that, that they had extra time to spend up in space. Uh, for those of you who know what it's like, you served twice on the International Space Station. But again, we're watching these final moments before splashdown. We're about a minute away, uh, and, and and take me back to this moment. What does it feel like as you hit the water when you're inside that capsule? Incredible to think that I came down in the Soyuz, so it wasn't quite the same as the water. A little harder, and at the same time, what happens is they're actually going to submerge the whole capsule under the water. Looks like a pretty calm sea there. That's always a good sign. But I remember just looking and watching the numbers count down, and you're just waiting and waiting, and it's the long longest wait ever I'll tell you former NASA astronaut Katie Coleman watching these live pictures with us coming in from NASA what you're looking at here is we're on the air a little earlier than normal tonight uh, these two astronauts along with two others accompanying them uh, they are just moments away from splashdown traveling at about uh, 16 miles per hour at this point they have four parachutes to ensure a safe landing as they come back down to the water if we just get rid of the topic bar for just a moment so we can actually see the and splash down crew nine back on earth back on earth and there the applause oh. back on earth I've got the three just words looking at it. that the family of butch wilmore and sonny williams have been waiting for for nine months now their two loved ones uh, went up to the international space station uh, to serve for eight days or so they said a number of times from the international space station that they did not mind being up there longer than they had planned Welcome home. But that the most welcome home, they just said from uh, NASA headquarters, welcome home to those four astronauts as we keep our eyes trained on the live pictures here. An amazing water ride. They said the most difficult part, as I was saying, of, of ending up there for more than a year was being away from their family. Butch Wilmore missed most of his younger daughter's senior year of high school. Uh, he has an older daughter as well who's in college. So. A reunion between uh, dad and his two girls here uh, when they can get out of the capsule and out of the water here and as you can see on your we did anticipate screen, we it would be quite some time before we actually see them now we're, we're gonna see the capsule here floating in the water uh, it's about a half an hour to 45 minutes before you actually expect to see the astronauts themselves we'll have that for you uh, on world news tonight uh, coming up a short time from now uh, Sonny Williams had been using the internet on board the International Space Station to talk with her her mother who is a senior as uh, she checked in on her and her health and her well-being, letting her know that she'd be home soon. Uh, she said she looked forward to reuniting with her mom, her husband, Michael, and her two Labradors, Gunner and Bailey. In the distance, we can We're going to be awfully excited when mom comes through that door. Copy, you're in Section 2 for the environmental assessment. So the welcome back to Earth. Crew 9, you can necessary. see a recovery vessel there in the distance, which will uh, certainly take the four astronauts. Again, uh, Butch Wilmore, Sonny Williams, and two other astronauts who accompanied them back. And this was on a SpaceX capsule. As you know, they went up on a, a Boeing Starliner uh, in the first place almost a year ago. And the initial plan was to come home on a Boeing vessel as well. Uh, that did not work out. Eventually, it was a SpaceX capsule that would bring them back. 